FNW Productions presents Coal Ash on the Catawba, Charlotte's Controversy with Coal. Slightly less than 50 high hazard coal ash ponds across the country. Four of those are on the Catawba River within 20 miles of Charlotte. What are coal ash basins? Fly ash, a byproduct of coal-fired power plants, is stored in a pond known as a coal ash basin. These basins are used to filter the harmful metals in coal ash, after which the water is then discharged into the local watershed. The four coal ash ponds in the Charlotte area are all on reservoirs that are a source of drinking water. Uh, two of the ash ponds are on Mount Nile Lake, which is the primary source of drinking water for about 860,000 people. Uh, so we have more than our share of the high hazard coal ash ponds in the country. Uh, and so to some extent, the rest of the country is looking at this region to say, what are you going to do? Why is this a problem? 99% of coal ash is inert matter. 1% contains harmful trace elements such as arsenic, lead, mercury, selenium, and other heavy metals. So there is a concern that the ash ponds constantly have a discharge going out of pipe into the lake above the drinking water intake that's constantly putting primarily heavy metals into the drinking water reservoir. We have a lot of monitoring that we do uh, both in the lake itself and also of our discharge to ensure uh, that we are, are able to maintain very good quality in Mountain Island Lake as well as in the fish population. According to EPA tests, coal ash does not qualify for regulation as a hazardous waste based on toxicity measures. All Catawba ash basins have satisfactory or fair inspection ratings from the EPA. Case closed. A 2012 Duke University study found contamination levels in runoff to Mountain Island Lake that far exceeded the EPA standards for safe drinking water and aquatic life. What's not debatable is these materials are being discharged out the pipe at levels that exceed the maximum contaminant levels established by the EPA. Water from the coal ash basins are discharged into Mountain Island Lake less than one mile upstream of Charlotte's drinking water intake. Should we be worried? And perhaps the biggest concern is the risk of a catastrophic failure. Is what would happen if one of these ash pond dams failed and you had all that ash released into the drinking water reservoir. We do have emergency action plans not only for our stations for operations but also for how we would respond in the remote event that we had some sort of structural issue at the ash basin. What is the future of coal ash? A switch to a dry ash handling system so the ash won't be getting into the water anymore. Duke Energy has a very aggressive fleet modernization program, so we are phasing out these older coal plants for the, the newer plants that will continue to operate and serve customers into the future. They have a technology that's called dry handling, where you're not actually storing the fly ash in a wet form in a basin, but in a lined landfill that has groundwater monitoring. What motivates Duke Energy to handle coal ash responsibly? We really do have employees who are working and living in these communities. It's certainly everyone's benefit to maintain clean water quality in our community, and uh, we have many measures in place to make sure that we manage coal ash in a safe and responsible fashion, and that will only continue to improve over the years as we retire some of these older coal plants and be able to transition to cleaner and more efficient technologies. Uh, they respond to what the legal requirements are, what the regulators are telling them to do, what the Public Utility Commission rewards them for doing financially, uh, so they're more likely to invest money in things where they're going to get a rate of return on it. I think they also respond to what the public wants them to do because their stock price to some extent is affected by what the public thinks of the company. You can help minimize the risk, improve the environment, and protect our drinking water by encouraging a faster transition to cleaner technologies.